Uh, hi, I'm uh, Emil Christoph from uh, Gate Institute Bulgaria. Uh, we're here in Copenhagen AEC Hackathon. Uh, tell me a little bit more about you. What do you do here in the Hackathon? How do you find this Hackathon beneficial for you? Well, first and foremost, great to have you. I hope that you will you. have a great AEC Hackathon in Sofia, of course. Yes, I hope so. Um, I'm Torben. Uh, I'm the CEO in Bloxup and uh, I started out Bloxup together with my great colleague some five years ago. One of the first uh, guys I met was Greg House and his, uh, his partner Damon Hernandez from the AEC Hackathon movement. And I told them about what Bloxup is as a co-working hub, uh, a place where you have some thousand people coming every day, working within the built environment, um, working together, working across companies. And he said, wow, uh, what a match, because that's actually what the AC Hackathon is all about. Companies, people coming together, working passionately on tech within the AEC industry, uh, but this time across companies, not working for themselves in individual companies, but working across companies, across silos, you might say. So the match between what we do, what we promote in BlocksUp fits beautifully to, to, the, to the values and the culture uh, and, and, and what they do here at the AEC Hackathon. Very interesting. And how do you think it, this hackathon, the concept of this hackathon is different than the typical hackathon and competitions in this sphere? Ooh, that's, uh, that's a good question. Uh, I don't know that many hackathons. I know the AEC Hackathon is a global movement and, and they run hackathons all over the world. I think, uh, looking on, on a personal note, this is the fourth time we are running the, the AEC Hackathon. And I think one, one thing explicitly differs from year to year, that's the level of quality of the, of the, of the projects that people are doing while they're here for, for, for these more or less 48 hours. So tomorrow afternoon, Sunday, we will be presented by uh, 15 to 20 groups of very, very high level tech solutions. So the level rises every year, that's for sure. Very interesting. And do you think that actually the Hackathon, the concept of Hackathon should adapt to the local context and the culture of people or something like this. And it's quite adaptable and uh, how it works in the different countries. I, I think it should, yeah, because we have, to, we have to respect the different cultures, the different national cultures and the different regional cultures. Uh, an AEC Hackathon in, in, at the West Coast in San Francisco is something not completely different from the, what we try to do here in Copenhagen, but somewhat different. And, and of course, yeah, you have to adapt. You have to, to know your people. Uh, you have to, if, if, if it requires more structure, you, then you have to add more structure, more planning. If it's a little bit more laid back, then you have to, to apply that and, and respect that. So I think the adaptability of, of doing these hackathons across countries, across regions, uh, is, is very, very uh, important and very valuable. Well, thank you. I hope to see you in Sofia for the next hackathon. I'll be there. Yes. Thank, thank you. you.